Welcome back to Great Day Live. We are back in the kitchen with Chef Brandy, and you know what? We are knocking on summer's door, and that means grilling out and all the great veggies from the garden. It's like one of our favorite times, one of my favorite times. Yes, I a love year, right? all the fresh produce. I can't oh. wait for tomato season every yes, year. Yes, yes, and, and so we've been talking about great ways that you can show kids how to cook, and I feel like summer is a great time, but right now, because of the season, it's also a good time to get them interested in healthier foods. Yes, the number one question the parents ask me is, how do you get kids to eat vegetables? How do I get them to eat vegetables yeah. kids don't want to eat vegetables no they don't um, so I always tell parents the first thing that I like to start out with the vegetables is find something simple that they already really like you know that you buy from the store chips and salsa mm. everybody likes chips and salsa yes. so um, if you take something they already like like salsa show them how to make their own we're going to pack tons of fresh veggies in here it's always better to fresh right yes it's always better fresh so we're gonna start with a fourth of a red onion okay and two cloves of garlic. We wanna pulse these down a little bit first so you don't have giant chunks of them in there. And, and help the kids with the blender, right? You can be there to help You know, when supervise. you first start with them, Something yes, easy. supervise. Yeah. Uh, after a couple of times, they're gonna know how to do this. Excellent. It's They're gonna be experts. Okay. Oh, do we better uh -oh. plug this guy in? plug it in. Welcome to Claudia's kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, so we're gonna get that a little pulse down. Okay, that We're gonna hurts. go ahead and add two whole tomatoes. And all I've done to this tomato oh, it is so take good, the stem out. And these are beef steak, but you can use whatever kind you like, heirloom, mm. um, you know, Roma. But I just cut that little core out of the middle. Okay. And you know, this is, this is a place too where if they haven't become experts with knives yet, get those gloves out that I showed you earlier. Mm -hmm. um, the cut learn. proof ones, yes. I feel like too, we just, with school being out, I feel like there's a little bit more space and time to stop and talk and you know what I mean? It coach them yes, along with Yes, they're things. not rushing home not rushing. to, you know, do homework right. and get their bath and get in bed. We're gonna add a whole jalapeno. Um, I always tell kids when they're cooking with it, it depends, do you like it spicy or not? All of the heat, 90% of it is in the white pith in the middle. Okay, People think it's the, the seeds. seeds. Yes, people think it's the seeds, what? but <laughs> it's serious? the white pith. So if you like spicy, leave it in. If you don't, take it out. We, we like mm, spicy around like my house, so we usually too. leave at least half of it in there. But I'm gonna take, you know, part of that pith out and throw it in. Especially too, if the kids are making it for themselves, not a lot of kids like things too spicy. Yes, my kids love spicy, but a lot of kids don't. And um, if your kids, your kids don't- are almost also top <laughs> chefs. So if your kids don't like spicy, scrape all of that white part out with a spoon and it will not have too much okay. heat to it, I promise. Perfect. Perfect. We're gonna pulse that down to make some more room. Okay. Okay, now we're going to add a can of Rotel diced tomatoes and green chilies. Okay. This is gonna give tons of flavor too, and if they don't like the spicy, just use the mild version or even just crushed tomatoes. Okay. We're gonna mm, put, this cilantro. is about two thirds of a bunch of cilantro. Mm. You can adjust to your taste. And we're gonna do the zest of one lime and the juice of two of them. This is really gonna brighten up. Zest of one, juice of two. Yes, Okay. and make sure when you're zesting, and this is safe for them to use as well. If you're worried, you know, they can use the gloves to start with. You just wanna make sure that you don't go past the green part. Once it gets to white, it's really bitter. Okay. We're gonna juice those in there. Mm-mm-mm. You are getting me ready for summer. I'm telling you, this is the easiest salsa recipe. It's delicious. Um, the kids love it. My cousin and I will make this and eat the entire pan. We love it. And even if there's extra, put it in a container, stick it in the fridge. Could you yes. freeze this too? Is this you know, I haven't well? tried freezing it, but in an airtight container in the fridge, it'll last for about two weeks. Okay. You know, you get to decide how chunky or how smooth you want it. We like it pretty chunky. And I'm telling you, this salsa recipe could not be any more simple. And I think, too, the pride in your kids saying, I made this. I made this. I made this. And this is good. This is the cutest little container right here, by the way. <laughs> All right, let's try this out. Right? You can try some, too? Come on Yes, out. sure. Mm -hmm. 
All we need is the margaritas. <laughs> that would be great. Not for the kids. <laughs> Not for the kids. Not for the kids. Not for the kids. They're so good. Thank you. That so, is you know, so fresh. And like this is a super good starter vegetable recipe because they already like salsa. Yes. Then you can move on to something like oh. kids love chips. Kids love, kids love, love crunchy. Chips. Yummy. This is a kale yeah. chip recipe. Exactly. It is so simple. It's so easy. All you're going to do is tear your kale apart, mm -hmm. put it on a baking sheet with parchment paper, spray it with a little bit of cooking spray and whatever seasoning you want. Mm -hmm. Goes in the oven at 350 for 10 minutes. 10 minutes, that's it. Yes. And Once you get, I try this, in the, do you recommend ever this in the air fryer or is it just air I don't. Too it much? flies around too much. Yeah. Now, I really like doing it with lemon juice and lemon mm. zest. But when you're starting it with kids, try ranch seasoning. You know, if they love oh, ranch, yeah. put some dry ranch seasoning on it. And they're crispy, they're crunchy, they don't taste like a vegetable. Oh, they're delicious. That is so delicious. And you can make them whatever flavor you like. Okay. You do not need to run and get pens and paper and write everything down. Chef Randy does everything for you. All the recipes are on Insta and TikTok at chef.brandy. That is so good. Right? Thank you. We're ready for summer. You have the kids eating plenty of healthy foods. Um, if you want to reach out because you're doing lots of catering, I know you're going to get super busy in the summer as well, uh, go to southern-flair.com. And I'm also offering kids and adult cooking classes oh. in people's homes as well. So See? if you'd like me to come show your kid a few things, then they can cook for the whole family yes. after that, <laughs> after getting dinner with a private chef and a cooking lesson. Brandy, thank you so much. Once again, just go over to Insta uh, and TikTok at chef.brandy.